what are uh, Google Analytics goals and how do we use those to tie in and to, to set KPIs? Yeah, that flows in nicely with what you just talked about. Like everything that's possible to do on the site, we should have a handle on and be tracking. And you can do that through a thing called Google Analytics, Analytics goals. And I think with Google Analytics, what is it, four coming out, they're going to change that to say conversions, but it's the same thing. And it's ways that you can track all of those things. So everything from contact form fills to phone calls, which is what you talked about. Um, you can even tr track when someone clicks a download button for downloading a PDF or something like that. Time on site, mm -hmm. video views. There's almost nothing that you can't track if you set it up correctly. So um, I've, I know I've worked with clients where I come in and they'll and they'll and I'll say, yeah, how, how many how many leads are you typical? How many phone calls are you typically getting from the website? And they'll say, oh, about twenty a month. And then I'll go into Google Analytics and there's no goal set up. Right. So like, how do you know that? Some of those phone calls can be coming from somebody that shared your phone number from, yeah. to somebody else. Uh, the, the yellow pages that people still use that. So, uh, sometimes those are just the calls that made it through a poor user experience incoming phone sure. network and made it all the way through to a tracking sheet. Exactly. So, sometimes those are half of the reality. So, um, you know, table stakes for all this stuff is setting up your tracking properly. And the, and the benefit of that, of not just sticking your finger in the air, you can always go to your web, uh, your, um, website, um, data and say, look at how many form fills you got. And that's helpful. But running that through analytics tells you where it came from, what region it came from, what device they were using, and the channel they came through. Did they come through LinkedIn? Did they come through a Google organic search? Did they come through Bing? It ties all that together and gives you a real sense of where the action's happening on your website. And you, the only way to do that is by setting up these goals within Google Analytics. So making sure that when you look in your Google Analytics uh, dashboard, or not your dashboard, but your um, access, and making sure that everything that matters to you on the website, phone call, form fill, ebook download, whatever it is for you, is tracked. And then you can start to optimize. You can't optimize what you can't measure and mm -hmm. track. So Google Analytics goals, make sure they're set up and set up properly. Yeah, and I would add a little tag onto that. Avoid the trap of buying into an expensive marketing automation platform. They're great if you're ready to do serious inbound marketing or uh, sequences of emails if you're ready to use the things that they're good at. But with GA, Google Analytics, you can actually fix a lot of these gaps mm -hmm. uh, for free. Uh, you can actually connect all these things and get it all working. So avoid the trap of buying a more sophisticated marketing automation platform because you're really buying the idea of getting your house in order. Uh, you can get your house in order with Google Analytics or you know with your platform before yep. before you get into use, more sophisticated marketing. Yeah, use the tactics. tools you have until what you want to do is greater than what that tool can provide, and then move to yeah. a different tool.